Welcome to this SUP Border vlog. Uh, in this vlog, I'm taking you behind the scenes of the SUP Border Pro test of the uh, 14 foot inflatable race boards. They're all 14 foot long boards, all inflatable and all roughly 27 inches wide, plus or minus an inch, uh, depending on what we could get. And we've got eight boards on test. And this time we're doing some of the tests slightly differently. So we've got Ruben, Captain Ruben today, aye, aye. taking us on this boat and uh, taking us well around and the rest of the testers are out over here and so hopefully we'll get a variety of conditions so here we've got nice and flat slightly downwind and when we get around the corner around the headland we'll probably encounter a bit of chop so we can really test all of these boards under different conditions different scenarios and make sure you guys get the best uh, impression of all of these boards and know which one's the best one to buy Test. These boards, well these boards are some of the best boards that we could find. Some of the brands wanted to you know, definitely put them up for test um, and obviously stock. These boards are re more readily available for everybody to get hold of. Um, and they, they're they actually doing, there's quite a good, I'd say a good group of five that are being, five, holding four fingers up, five, that are strong contenders for being good, you know, good for different reasons but very close to each other. So it's going to be really interesting to see what the testers say. Why have you chosen this size of board as well? The 27 inch wide and 14 foot length. 14 foot is definitely the most popular race category um, size. You've got 12 6 as well, but 14 foot is definitely the popular one. And 27 wide is a really good size for a lot of people to get into paddling fast, racing, and also maybe they might look at this and take them touring as well. So 27 is a good, if you can make a fast 27, 28 wide race board, then all the ones narrower than that are going to be even faster again. By taking the boat it meant that we could not only test out the boards in more conditions but also take more testers and make sure it was easy to swap between boards to ensure that everyone had to go on each board. Quick board change. It's like a Grand Prix pit stop, it takes five minutes. Yeah, <laughs> not quite as quick. Yeah. It also meant that I could catch up with the testers to find out how they were getting on. So Donna, you're one of our testers today? Yep. <laughs> how are you getting on? Yeah, really good. Um, I started off on the starboard, kind of coming quite on the flat bit, and I kind of knew that that would be decent-ish, and the, well, I hoped it would be, yeah. and it was. And then I swapped over to the um, SIC, but again, really, really liked it. Um, coped quite well with the chop, although sometimes the board occasionally kind of, the nose swayed quite a lot in the, in the front, which I did struggle with a little bit. And then I jumped on the Naish, which I really, really enjoyed. Um, just a really nice feeling board and absolutely, and this is the bit I used it on, which was the most choppiest bit, and it absolutely just cut through the water. After battling into the wind and chop for some time, the testers decided to jump on board to grab a pasty and hitch a ride for the last mile or so. Hey, Milos. I don't know what they're in there. I'm not sure, but I think they You can have a bite, mine's already going. All except for Johnny, who was enjoying it so much, he wanted to slog it out right to the end. So we've just paddled around the headland and now it's really windy. Um, quite choppy now. Once we made it to the bay, we anchored up and took notes on what each of the testers thought of each of the boards. I, flat water speed, I found it, well, the best on test. Yeah, it paddles really nicely. Like, but it's quite, quite speedy. The nose is quite nice. It was just so meh in every I mean, I, I way. It, it was. I thought it, it was really <coughs> sluggish, and it just didn't. 
go like I thought it might. Okay, so yeah, really interesting day. We've done some flat water stuff and some open water paddling, and I think that really drew out some different um, things that we learned about the boards. Um, we've just done a summary um, in the way that we always do. Um, everyone's kind of highlighted what their pros, cons, some trends that they spotted. Um, and again, with the wider group of testers, that's really helped us um, understand which boards are right for different size paddlers um, as well. So really successful down the water and thanks to all the amazing testers.